Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with The Runaround by DJV. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules. So in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. Uh, additionally, we have these purple lines in the grid. These are Renban lines, so they contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits. So for the length of the line, you say this line length 3, you pick a set of consecutive digits, like 3, 4, 5. And then you put them in any order you want. So three, five, four, for example. So this would be a viable fill for this red band. There's plenty of others, but basically if you take the digits as a whole that got placed on the red band, they need to be consecutive and they can't repeat. So those are the rules. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to try the puzzle yourself. And I am going to get started right now. So I really think the key to this puzzle is going to be the plethora of six length Ren bands in the grid, which really you can think of as non-repeating lines or extra regions or whatever you want to think about them, because um, they're going to have one through six on them because you can't repeat. Um, and so the point is that you can't repeat. So for example, this cell here goes here. Um, let's just mark that in green so we remember. And then this cell here goes here. So let's mark that in orange so we remember. Just, just to say these are the same digit as each other. And we know green and orange are different. Um, so it's probably these L-shaped ones that are, that are interesting. Like these three that aren't in the box are the same as these three. So the two and the four need to go in here. But we don't know what the third digit is right now. So it's kind of two, four, and whatever this is. Not three, I guess. So three goes here. We know that from Sudoku, though. Um, but it, it might be interesting to realize that three can't go here. Um, oh, additionally, three's up here. It's not green, right? Green. These are the same digit, and three sees it. So three is up here. Um, same with two. Two is not green. So two goes up here. So this is either one, two, three, or uh, two, three, four. And the four would only be able to go here. But there's definitely a two and a three. Cool. All right. Um, we also have this bendy one. Um, ah, right. So the four can't repeat on the red band, and can't, it isn't three. So the four goes here. Um, so we actually don't have a four on this red band. So it is just a one, two, three, triple. Let's put four, five, six here. Oops. Four, five, six. It can't be four. Um, so then this one needs to go in the box as well. So it has to be the three, because it can't be the four. Hmm. So do we want to think about four in this column? Because it can't be here. Four is either orange or so four, yeah. So four in this column is either orange or this one, which means four is in one of these two. If this was four, this would be five only. It can't be three, but that seems okay. Hmm. All right, what's the next step then? Three? Oh, right. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, three isn't one of these two, but three can't be orange because three sees orange. So three is placed here. We have the four, and then this, obviously, this digit's the other one. Hmm. Um. Oh, I need a one in this column, and green is not one. Green is five or six. I should have filled that. So this is the one for the column, Oops, the one for the column. So we were saying that these three were the same as these three, and that we know that where the four is, so this has to be a one-two pair, and this can't be the two. So this is the one, this is the two. That places a two here. Okay. So this is a triple. The three's here, we need five and six. So that's a five-six pair, so that has to be three. That places this one in three. This is a two for the column. Need one five six here. Okay, that's working out. Um, okay, these are from four five six. So this is the one for the row. Okay, five six pair gives us a one two pair here. These are from 256, and the 2 is over here. These are from 456. So this, th because they see a 3, 
they have to stay on the four, five, six side of the line, which means one of these is a five because they can't both be they can't be four six, right? It has to be consecutive. So one of these is a five, which means this cannot be a five. It also means this can't be a five, but I don't know if that does anything. Um, to be fair, I don't know if this does anything either. Let's see. Uh, this is also four, five, six. So that's a four, five, six triple. So this is a one, three pair. Ah, and the three looks up. So that's a one, that's a three, that's a two, that's a one. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, four, five pair gives us the six and the five. Six has to go with five. That's four. That's the same as orange. Greens are both six. That's five and four. Okay, we're finishing. There we go. All right, nice. Well, thanks, DJV. Already 14 solves by the time I got to it. Interesting. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. Um, really interesting use of geometry there. It was really just a geometry thing with a little bit of Ren Band sprinkled in. Um, it was almost it, almost uh, viable for it to just be basically extra regions or empty killer cages and uh, white dots. But uh, this this messed it up. This can't be white dots. So. Anyway, as Renban, that's fine too. Um, lots of ways to make extra regions using different variants. Um, I enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.